Jets fan, this is Steven here for JustMyPicks.com, and I'm bringing down a hot matchup for Week 9, the Chargers taking on the Dolphins. Last week, we saw the Chargers get run through the mill by the Devil Broncos, and we've seen the Dolphins taking on the Jaguars with a little bit of success, winning a couple of games late here. Now, I look at this as, as a potential trap game for the Chargers. The Chargers looked ahead possibly to this game over the Broncos and thought, okay, well, maybe we just got to get through this game with the Broncos. We can beat the Dolphins. No. The Dolphins are playing with physicality. I know that when no Sean Moreno went down, I thought, okay, the death of the run game. But, you know, this is an intriguing matchup. The Dolphins' defense is playing a lot better. Ryan Tannehill is connecting with a lot of passes, while on the other side, Phillip Rivers is struggling. His offensive weapons are not producing as they did last year. They're not having the same success as they did last year. It looks like they're not playing with that same passion, that same heart as they did last year. But coming into this football game, you have to look at Phillip Rivers as being the better quarterback, and that's where the buck stops. I believed in the Chargers early on. I no longer believe in the Chargers. I feel like I don't know what's happened. I don't know if it's a play calling. I don't know if it's the, the, the designs of the plays. But the Chargers just do not look impressive anymore. The Dolphins, on the other hand, Dolphins see a potential uh, chance to sneak into AFC East and, and possibly overtake the Patriots. So they're playing physical football. They're playing a tough style of football. Cameron Wake is playing like a monster, possessed. And that's one of those things. I don't see that that monster pass rusher on the other side. I know they got Dwight Freeney on the Chargers, but he's no Cameron Wake. Let's face it. He's a finesse rusher. Cameron Wake is a man's man, rushing on both sides of the ball. They move him around just like a little J.J. Watt. He's not as physical as J.J. Watt, but he can get to the quarterback very quickly, create sacks, create uh, sack fumbles, create possible interceptions, making the quarterback throw the ball before he wants to. And I think that Phillip Rivers won't have that chance to dance around his pocket because they're going to send blitzes. They're going to send all kinds of schemes at Phillip Rivers to confuse him. They're going to be playing in the hot Miami Sun, and it's not going to be it's not going to be good for uh, the Chargers. I'm picking the Dolphins to win this game in an upset victory, and let's say uh, a low scoring game. How about 21-19? Dolphins win, fins up. Uh, thanks for checking out Week Nine of Chargers versus Dolphins. Leave your comments in the comment section below. If you're a Chargers fan, you think I'm crazy, leave it in the comment section. If you're a Dolphins fan, fins up. Let's ride out. But uh, check out JustMyPicks.com for all the breaking news, all the updates in sports, all the hot topics and debates. Don't forget, share my videos in your Facebook group so we can debate with you each and every week. Don't forget to come back at week 10 so we can get another great game predicted. Thank you so very much. We look forward to seeing you.